Hello and welcome back everybody. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. I've gotten a lot of requests for the walking animation and uh, also just kind of how to make your animation smooth. So let's go ahead and add a character. We'll just keep it with Steve this time. Um, now a couple cool things here. I think a lot of people aren't they don't know how to use it although it's kind of simple to use. It just takes one time to use and then you'll get used to it. So we add two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at 55, which is actually 2 seconds and 2.75 seconds. So, uh, what we need to do is we need to add some movement. So, uh, let's move Steve down here. Let's do position. Let's do jump to camera. And let's bring him down to the ground. Okay, that's good enough. So, he starts over there, and he has to end up over here. Now if I've got these two keyframes here, I, I click on the first one, I right click, and I go create walking animation to next frame, and voila, there are some walking animations. So let's press play and see how it looks. What do you know? Walkie, 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 walkie. So uh, there you go, there's the walking. Now somebody asked how to make him run. I haven't tried this, so let's see if this works how it works in my head. So first keyframe, he's over there. Uh, second keyframe, we're actually going to move this one to like right here. And we're going to do jump to camera, bring him down. Alright, so this is a, about the same distance but a lot less time. So, create walking animation. I mean, that, that's kind of a semi run. He only takes really two steps, but he is getting there quickly. Um, it, I mean, if you really wanted to make it look like he was running, you could do this, but then um, on each keyframe, let's just change a little bit. The right arm, we want to bring up the rotation menu, and let's see, we want the yellow. We're going to bring this up more, and that one back more, and we're even going to tilt his body forward. So, on this one, his arm's coming back, so we want to bring that one forward more, this one back more, and we'll tilt this back just a smidgen. And then there, he's standing still. So let's see how this looks. No promises. Oh, we forgot to edit his legs. Uh... Oh, his legs are alright. Uh, let's just slow it down so we can actually see what's happening. Alright, play. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Nothing special. So to make running, um, you can just do this and you're just going to have to tweak the frames a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you could even, what I did before, um, let's delete those two. And let's move this one out to there, and we'll do create walking animation to keyframe. Um, so there he is, just strolling along, minding his business. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like sped up. Speed up to 44. <laughs> it's almost like fast forward. But like I said, if you went through, once it's made the keyframes for you, just go through and tweak the individual parts so it's more of a stride for him. Bring his arms up, his legs back a little bit, make him lean forward and kind of go back and forth throughout the keyframes and you will get a running animation. Now, something cool that I actually wanted to try. Um, let's add a, actually no, let's just change the model to spider. And let's try the same thing. I'm, I'm wondering if David made walking an animations for the spiders. Uh, all. Jump to camera. Alright. Create walking animation. Oh, he did! Look at that! So it did. Yeah, look at those little legs jitter. Cool. So there you have it. David has done his homework. He made it so all the uh, the things are working. Now let's actually let's try this. Uh, we've already got the keyframes here. Let's just change this to a slime. 
Yeah, I don't know. Well, let, let's delete these ones in the middle. Delete. Let's go right here. Create walking animation in the next frame. Yeah, that slide, slime just kind of slides wrong. That's okay, though. Let's try out one more. Let's try... The Lechicon. Alright, create walking and play. Yes, the chicken walks! Slow it down. <laughs> this is awesome. So, that is your walking animation. Now, I got a request to show how to make your animation smooth. Um, it does take a little practice at the beginning of this program. Just figuring out... Um, movements. So let's change this back to human. Um, let's let's do a couple of things here where he waves. Uh, now I'm not going to go in depth on animating because I will do that in its own little separate um, tutorial. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, Alright. Now the key to smooth animating is non- jerky movements. Now, I mean, just doing this, he's just waving side to side, so um, there's no really kind of rotational movement involved. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Let's speed it up. Hi. Hi. So, to make your movement smooth, you, you just want to well, for one thing, I can tell you, don't add as many keyframes as you have in your mind. For example, the the keyframe builds the distance in between. So it knows right here has to be there, and right there it has to be there. So it knows that in between this distance, it just turns it. Now, if I were to uh, rotate his arm like that, I'm actually going to move that out to give it a little bit more time to do so. Let's see how that looks. So to make your, your movements really smooth, um, kind of give it smooth motion. So like, if, if I'm having him turn all the way around, um, and then I want to bring him down, bring it down like this. Oops. Uh, yellow? Yes, yellow. Down like this. Let me just show you this. You just got to think of how the actual human body works, the way you're turning things. Um, so that, I mean, that's somewhat smooth, how he, he comes back and then brings it down. To make it even smoother, um, I might even want to kind of do it halfway like that. So if we go like that. Um, Yeah, so that's somewhat smoother. So you got to think of your angles. Before I had it so his arm came back and then 90 degrees down. Instead, I kept it about 45 degrees. So instead of going back and down, it's going a kind of a on an arch curve. So make your movements at an arch. Don't make them so robotic where it's like, okay, arm back, arm down. You want to make it fluid. Make it a smooth movement. And that takes some, some real practice to do. Um... And as far as flying goes, I, I've actually got a secret animation I'm, I'm working on right now, but I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to spoil it. As far as flying goes, um, you just want to think of how the whole body reacts. Um, so let's go ahead and copy that, paste, Copy this, paste, and copy this, and paste. No, oh, wait, we want the opposite of this. We want, I'll do this, manual input. I know I want 87, so we're going 87. There we go. Now it's almost a mirror. I think this needs to be 19, not negative 19. There we go. Voila. So let's turn these rotation things off. Now to make him fly you've got to think, oh let's rotate him, come on now. Uh, we want to rotate him on this one. Let's actually bring him up. Head. 
up. Alright, now let's delete these. Move that back. And delete that. And for this keyframe, we're just going to have him um, all body jump to camera there. So let's just watch this and we'll critique it as we go. So that's technically him flying. Now you've got to think when you're flying through the air and the wind is going over you, um, things are going to be moving. You know, you may get a little kickback in your head, so it's kind of going back and forth like that. Your arms aren't going to be straight like that. Um, it's hard to do because clothes don't really ripple in Minecraft. Um, but you can even add some kicking in his legs. I'll add that real quick. Um, so let's add keyframes just like this. I said this was going to be a quick video, but it's probably going to end up being like a 30 minute video. Okay. So leg, um, we're just we're not gonna make this pretty. So one leg down. It's almost gonna look like he's swimming, um, and then we'll. Now you'll notice it's not keeping it because I I did something here where I already had two frames and now I'm filling in between, and so it doesn't automatically update these frames as you go. So you're just gonna kind of remember what you did. So the right leg was down. So the right left leg needs to go down. Right leg goes up. Um, that one goes down, that one goes up, that one goes down, that one goes up. Alright, let's just see how that looks. I don't want to do the whole thing. Um, so it's pretty much like he's swimming now. Um, but you get the gist of things. You want to have body parts moving while he's in motion. Just think of the way you walk. Every part of your body is moving while you're walking. Your upper body isn't stiff as a board. It's kind of bobbing and absorbing the shock of you walking. You need to kind of try and simulate the whole thing there, but you, re you really can't simulate it to 100% because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six kind of squares to work with. So just be kind of, make it look as fluid as you can and work in smooth, smooth turns as opposed to 90 degrees. Okay, it does this and then it does this. Make it do two things at once as I did with going back and going down. Um, so yeah, that's the basis on the walking. Now I'll just go over the walking one more time because I think that is an awesome feature but is often overlooked because people don't know how to use it. So you need to have two keyframes. The second keyframe, uh, Steve, needs to be farther away than where he actually was. Click on the first keyframe, right click, create walking animation, and voila. There's old Steve strolling down. Put a little piece of hay in his mouth and he is good to go. So this is just a quick, uh, I guess, tips video on walking animation, running, and flying, and as far as just smooth, making your animation smooth. Um, another thing that's going to make your animation smooth is the camera. The same thing with your camera angles. I'll just show this real quick. I want to wrap this up. So I haven't gone over camera angles in the tutorial video yet, so this may be a little foreign to some of you, um, but we'll get there. So let's go like this. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah. So that's that's a smooth camera angle, and that's because I didn't. I can make this a really crappy camera angle by going like this, we'll move this one back like that, and then we'll do this like that. So this one is not going to be as smooth. Looks smooth, looks smooth, and then kunk kunk. I'll turn off loop. It's just a sharp angle there at the end. Um, I mean, if that's the effect you're going for, then great, but keep it, keep it smooth. So here, the camera slowly rotates, it rotates and rotates, and it's there, and you, you don't even notice it's turning. So that's my tip for keeping it smooth. Try not to make sharp angles in your movements, whether it's with your camera or your animations. So this is Ski Dude. Leave uh, questions and comments in the below. Hopefully I answered your question. I cannot remember the subscriber name, and I don't really want to alt tab out in the middle of a uh, recording. I just had a brain fart there. Um, but I will leave a note on who asked for it and hopefully this answered your questions. I'll even send you the video link and a YouTube message. So 
Any other questions, leave in the comments below, things you can't figure out or things like that, and I will try to make a relatively quick video for you. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Ski Dude, and spread the word about Minimator and my channel. Subscribe, rate, and thumbs up. Peace. Alright guys, so I figured something out after I had taken an hour and a half to render out that last video. I'll try to add this on the end. Um, so I was showing the walking animation, and when I was re-watching my video, I noticed something, and I just wanted to point it out because it is going to affect the way your walking animation works. Um, so let's go ahead and just move him to two different spots with two different keyframes. Alright, now what I noticed was, so, oop, that is a far distance to go, well, from there to there. Um, now let's, let's just say create walking animation, it gives us one, two, three, four, five animations, and he does it pretty quickly. Now what I noticed was, delete, that, uh, delete those, yes. Go back here, uh, slow down your tempo, and then click Create Walking Animation. And now look at all these new keyframes. And now it's a lot slower walk, taking his time, no, no big rush. And the same if I delete these. Oop, not deselect. Uh, delete. Uh, let's speed it up to 60, do the same thing, create walking animation, it only gives us two. Zup, zup. So, when setting walking animations, if you want it to be a slower, kind of more animated walk, slow down your tempo before you do it. Uh, let's, let's turn it down all the way, all the way to one, and let's see. <laughs> Look at all those keyframes. And what's funny is when you speed this up, well, <laughs> what the heck? What is happening? He's like, wow! Look at look at him go! I just like broke the walking animation. Just slow it down. And he's quick stepping. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Good stuff right there. Wow. <laughs> I could stare at this all day. Anyway, I get easily distracted. So, um, the speed of your tempo is going to affect the amount of keyframes it generates. Just a thing I thought I'd add on the end there. Um, yeah, thought you guys would like to know that. This is Ski Dude. Catch you guys later.